everybody, this is Brother Brennan coming to you live from Fayetteville, Arkansas with another daily Bible reading. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and we will pick up from where we left off. <clears throat> 2 Chronicles chapter 7 Now when Solomon had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the house. And the priests could not enter into the house of the Lord, because the glory of the Lord had filled the, filled the Lord's house. And when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down, and the glory of the Lord upon the house, they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement, and worshipped and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Then the king and all the people offered sacrifices before the Lord. And King Solomon offered sacrifice of twenty and two thousand oxen and a hundred and twenty thousand sheep. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of God. And the priests waited on and the priests waited on their office offices. The Levites also with instruments of music of the Lord, which David the king had made to praise the Lord, because his mercy endureth forever. When David praised by their ministry and the priests sounded trumpets before them and all Israel stood moreover Solomon hollowed the middle of the court that was before the house of the Lord for there he offered burnt offerings and the fat of the peace offerings because the brazen altar which Solomon had made was not able to receive the burnt offerings and the and the meat offerings and the fat. Also at that same time, Solomon kept the feast seven days and all Israel with him, a very great congregation from the entering in of Hamath onto the river of Egypt. And on the eighth day, they made a solemn assembly for they kept the dedication of the altar seven days and the, and the feast seven days. And on the th and on the three and twentieth day of the seventh month, he sent the people away into their tents, glad and merry in heart, for the goodness that the Lord had shewed on David, unto David and to Solomon and to Israel, his people. Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord, and the king's house, and all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord, and in his own house. He prosperously affected. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, Selves, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be open and mine ears attended unto the prayer that is made in this place. For now I have chosen and, and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and mine eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. And as for thee, if thou wilt walk before me as David thy father walked, and do according to all that I have commanded thee, and shall observe my statutes and my judgments, then will, I establish, then will I establish the throne of thy kingdom according as I have coveted, coveted with David thy father, saying, There shall not fail thee a man to be ruler in Israel. But if you turn away and forsake my statutes and my commandments, which I have set before you, and shall go and serve other gods and worship them, then will I pluck them up by the roots out of my land, which I have given them. And this house, which I have sanctified for my name, will I cast out of my sight, and will make it to be a proverb and a byword among all nations. And this house, which is high, shall be an astonishment to everyone that passeth by it, so that he shall say, Why hath the Lord why hath the Lord done thus unto this land? 
and unto this house. And it shall be answered, because they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, and laid hold, laid hold on other gods, and worshipped them, and served them. Therefore hath he brought all this evil upon them. Second Chronicles chapter 8. And it came to pass at the end of twenty years, wherein Solomon had built the house of the Lord and his own house, <clears throat> that the cities which Haram had restored to Solomon, Solomon built them and caused the children of Israel to dwell there. And Solomon went to Hamath, Zobah, Zobah and prevailed against it. And he built Tadmor in the wilderness, and all the store cities which he had built in Hamath. Also he had built Beth Haron, the upper and the upper and Beth Haron the nether, fenced, fenced cities with walls and gates and bars, and Belath, and all the store cities that Solomon had, and all the chariot cities, and the cities of the horsemen, and all that Solomon desired to build in Jerusalem, and in Lebanon, and throughout all the land of his dominion. As for all the people that were left of the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hevites, and the Jebusites, which were not of Israel, but of their children, who were left after them in the land, whom the children of Israel consumed not, them did Solomon make to pay tribute unto this day. But of the children... But of the children of Israel did Solomon make no servants for his work. But there were men of war, and chief of his captains, and captains of his chariots and horsemen. And these were the chief of King Solomon's officers, even two hundred and fifty, that bear rule over the people. And Solomon brought up the daughter of Pharaoh out of the city of David, unto the house that he had built for her. For he said, My wife shall not dwell in the house of David king of Israel because the places are holy whereunto the ark of the Lord hath come and Solomon offered burnt offerings unto the Lord on the altar of the Lord which he had built before the porch even after a certain a certain rate every day offering according to the commandment of Moses on the Sabbaths and on the new moons and on the solemn feasts three times in the year even in the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and in the Feast of Weeks, and in the Feast of Tabernacles. And he, appointed, and he appointed according to the order of David his father, the courses of the priests to their service, and the Levites to their charges, to praise and minister before the priests, as the duty of every, as the duty of every day required. The porters also by their courses at every gate, for so had David the man of God commanded. And they departed not from the commandments of the king unto the priests and Levites concerning any matter or concerning the treasurers. Now all the work of Solomon was prepared unto the day of the foundation of the house of the Lord, and until it was finished and until it was finished, so the house of the Lord was perfect. Perfect. Or perfected. Then went Solomon to Etir Gumber, and to Eloth at the seaside in the land of Edom. And Haram sent him by the hands of his servants, ships and servants that had knowledge of the sea. And they went with the servants of Solomon to Ophir, and took that 450 talents of gold, and brought them to King Solomon. Second Chronicles chapter 9 And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, she came to prove Solomon with hard questions at Jerusalem, with a very great company and camels that bear spices and gold and abundance and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions, and there was nothing hid from Solomon which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen the wisdom of Solomon and the house that he had built and the meat of his table and the sitting of his servants and the 
attendants of his ministers, and they, and their apparel, his cupbearers also, and their apparel, and his ascent by which he went up into the house of the Lord. There was no more spirit in her, and she, and she said to the king, "It was a true report which I heard in mine own land of thine acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit I believed not their words until I came, and mine eyes had seen it. And behold." The one half of the greatness of thy wisdom was not told me, for thou exceedest the fame that I heard. Happy are thy men, and happy are these thy servants, which stand continually before thee, and hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighteth in thee to set thee on his throne, to be king for the Lord thy God, because thy God loved Israel to establish them forever. Therefore made he the king over them to do judgment and justice. And she gave the king an hundred and twenty talents of gold and of spices and great abundance and precious stones. Neither was there any such spice as the queen of Sheba gave King Solomon. And the servants of Haram and the servants of Solomon, which brought gold from Ophir, brought algum trees and precious stones and the king made of the algum trees ter uh, terraces to the house of the lord and to the king's palace and harps and psalteries for singers and there was none such seen before in the land of judah and king solomon gave to the queen of sheba all her desire whatsoever she asked beside that which she had brought unto the king so she turned and went away to her own land she and her servants. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was six hundred and three score and six talents of gold. Beside that which chapmen of, and merchants brought, and all the kings of Arabia and governors of the country brought gold and silver to Solomon. And King Solomon made two, 200 targets of beaten gold, 600 shekels of beaten gold went to win went to one target and 300 shields made he of beaten gold 300 shekels of shekels of gold went to one shield and the king put them in the house on the forest of lebanon moreover the king made a great throne of ivory and overlaid it with pure gold and there were six steps to the throne with a footstool of gold which were fastened to the throne and stays on each side of the sitting place and two lions standing by the stays and twelve lions stood there on the one side, and, a, and on the other upon the six steps. There was not like, there was not the like made in any kingdom. And all the drinking vessels of King Solomon were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold. None were of silver. It was not anything accounted of in the days of Solomon. For the king's ships went to Tarshish with the servants of Haram. Every three years once came the ships of Tarshish, bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. And King Solomon passed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. And all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom that God had put in his heart. And they brought every man his present vessels of silver and vessels of gold and raiment and harness and spices horses and mules a rate year by year and solomon had four thousand stalls for horses and chariots and twelve thousand horsemen whom he bestowed in the chariot cities and with the and with the king at jerusalem and he reigned over all the kings from the river even under the land of the philistines and to the border of egypt and the king made silk and the king made silver in Jerusalem as stones and cedar trees. Made he as the sycamore trees that are in the low plains and abundance. And they bought they and they brought unto Solomon horses out of Egypt and out of all lands. Now the rest of the acts of Solomon, first and last, are they not written in the book? Of Nathan the prophet, and in the prophecy of Ahijah the, Sh the, Sh the, Sh the Shilonite, and in the visions of Edo the seer against Jeroboam 
the son of Nabat. And Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all 40 years. And Solomon slept with his fathers. And he was buried in the city of David, his father. And Rehoboam, his son, reigned in his stead. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today. And uh, I pray and hope that this is a blessing to you. And pray and hope that you guys get something out of this. Uh, please feel free to share these with whoever the Lord lays in your heart to share them with. And um, please keep me in prayer as I continue reading the Word and as, con and as I continue to do preaching here and there. Uh, pray that God will take these videos and do with them as He wills. If you'd like, you can go to YouTube and type in Fishers of Men Ministries. Uh, Brandon Swanson, I should be the first one that pops up. Um, if not, you might have to scroll down a little bit. But if you see a pic, if you see my picture on the side with the subscribe button, if you want to, you can subscribe to the channel. And if you like what we're doing, and if you want the updates to it, uh, don't just subscribe, but hit the notification bell and hit all. And by doing that, you'll get all the updates. Uh, you'll get all the updates to the, the new videos that I'll be doing. And um, <clears throat> if you want to, you can also check me out on Facebook. You can feel free to add me. On Facebook, just type in Brandon Swanson. I should be there. Um, if not, then there's something terribly wrong, but I'll be there. Just type in Brandon Swanson. Um, and uh, you can add me on Facebook. You can, you can catch me in the live videos. Um, if, uh, if, if you want to, you can also search on Sermon Audio and just uh, go to sermonaudio.com and type in Fishers of Men Ministries. And um, with that, I have all my... All the videos that I've ever preached and all my daily Bible readings should be up on there as well. So if you could feel free to check those out as well. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it. Uh, this is Brother Brandon. I'm signing off for the day. God bless you guys. I love you. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. God bless you guys. See ya. Love you. Bye.